Hey, everybody, and thanks for listening to this edition of 15 Minutes With. This is Joe Tommaso. I hope you guys are doing great today. This is going to be a short interview with Jesse James Hollywood. For those of you who don't remember who Jesse James Hollywood is, he was involved in the murder and kidnapping of young Nick Markowitz back in the year 2000. They also made a movie about the case called Alpha Dog, which starred Justin Timberlake. Just so you guys know, I actually pay for all these phone calls back and forth with the inmates. So if you'd like to keep these calls going on and you'd like to make the show better, please donate to paypal.me slash Joe Tommaso. That is paypal.me slash J-O-E-T-O-M-A-S-O. Also, if you'd like to make any comments, suggestions, or if there's somebody you want me to try an interview, please, by all means, email me at inside the razor wire at gmail.com again that email is inside the razor wire at gmail.com or i can be snail mailed at p.o box 162 west haven connecticut 06516 so this show is going to be pretty short but let's see what jesse james had to say you have a prepaid call from jesse an inmate at the R.J. Donovan Correctional Facility, San Diego, California. Your advanced pay account has a low balance. To place more funds, please call 1-800-483-8314. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hey, Jesse. Yo, how's it going? Okay. I wanted to get into some stuff with you today. Uh, I want to clarify some stuff for the listeners. Um, this is what we, you and I had, to, had spoke about last week when we talked really brief. I want to explain to the listeners as to why you're doing this and the fact that you actually are doing a lot of this to honor Nick's memory. So can you explain why you're doing you know, the actual you know, the show? Definitely. Um, well, when you contacted me initially, you had uh, indicated you wanted to do something for the youth at risk. So, you know, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to be reluctant as far as anything to help the kids and anything to do something positive to uh, touch people out there. Um, I wasn't going to hesitate. Um, as far as uh, my motivation, I always talk to you. I, I know when I when I corresponded with you, mm-hmm. it was about pure intentions. And uh, first and foremost, all praise and glory to God. And I always, uh, I indicated, I know when we spoke uh, in our first conversations, I told you that I love Nick Markowitz. I think a lot of people have uh, the wrong idea because of uh, the media and a lot of the stuff that's been out there in the, on the Internet and stuff like that. They're not too familiar with the case. I think a lot of people are just unfamiliar with the facts of my case, thinking that maybe, um, I just think they're not, they're not fully aware of the case, and they're not fully aware of what my motivation here is. It's uh, it's purely uh, altruistic endeavor. I'm not out to get to get any attention. I'm out to to help others, and and also to bring honor to Nick. And everything I've been doing, as far as uh, uh, youth at risk endeavors that I've been doing, partaking in since 2010, I always honor Nick. And everything I'm doing, as far as my rehabilitation, every day it's to honor Nick and, and to honor his family. And, um, in fact, today, um, I just wrote a remorse letter to Nick and Susan Markowitz, and I know how much, uh, Susan's been hurt by this whole, uh, situation, and, and, uh, I... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. There's nothing I can do or say to bring Nick back, but if I could trade my life right now for Nick, I would do that in a second. And I would do the same thing for any kids out there that are walking down the wrong path and, and, and... Uh, you know, involved in anything that could take them down this path that I've been on for the past 20 years. So I, I and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, I would give my, I would give my life in one second for Nick's life or for any kid that's going down this path. So, I mean, that was my motivation from, from the minute that you contacted me. Um, I could have been reluctant as far as, uh, worried about fighting my case and appeals processes and, and you had 60 seconds remaining. The haters on the internet. Hello. Yeah, we're going to get disconnected for some reason. Anyways. It said, so, the, it said the money was short. 
Yeah, I'm going to actually. Oh, I don't know if I. Can, I don't know if I can call back now or if it's that's it. Give me give me about five minutes and then I'll uh, re I'll, on the 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 phone. But yeah, I mean, I wanted to make sure that people understood that you're doing this, you know, with pure intentions. You're not doing this just to go out there and get, you know, attention. Definitely, everything anything I'm doing is in honor of Nick, and everything as far as my rehabilitation goes is, is in honor of Nick Markowitz. Every single day, I dedicated to him and everything that I'm doing. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to call back, Joe. Soon, I'll call back in five or ten. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye. God bless. Thank you for listening to 15 Minutes with. I hope you've enjoyed this edition. If you have enjoyed this edition of 15 Minutes With, please hit the like and the subscribe button. You can also help me keep this show going and watch it get better by donating to paypal.me slash Joe Tommaso. That address again is paypal.me slash J-O-E-T-O-M-A-S-O. 15 Minutes With is constantly looking for new content to upload and new people to interview. If you would like to share your story or if there's someone you would like to see us interview, please email us at insidetherazorwire at gmail.com. That email address again is insidetherazorwire at gmail.com. Last but not least, again, if you like to support this channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, we'll be seeing you.